What is up, Stats Nerds? I am Professor Charlie Collins. Welcome to another feature of Current Mode, where we aren't mean. We're just average. Today, we're talking about multiple linear regression, or what us stats people call regression. We just call it regression. Uh, and regression is a statistical method that analyzes the relationship between a dependent variable, also known as an outcome variable, and one or more or multiple independent variables, which we also call predictor variables. We often refer to independent variables as predictors and dependent variables as outcomes because regression is a, is a predictive analysis. And what that means is that we can predict a certain score on an outcome or on the DV based on the score of a predictor. What kind of variables can we use for regression? For regression, our dependent variable needs to be measured as an interval or ratio type of variable, but our independent variables can be measured really with any type of variable, nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio types of variables. So what does regression look like? In linear regression, the relationship between the dependent variable and each of the independent variables is represented by a straight line. So do you remember in high school geometry when we would plot uh, data on an x-axis and a y-axis and draw a line through it to re represent the linear relationship between the data, the data plotted on those two planes? And then we would calculate the slope and the intercept? That's basically what linear regression is doing. This line is determined by finding the values of the slope and the intercept. So in regression, we call these values coefficients. And coefficients are basically calculated by comparing the actual values, right, the values or, or our actual scores against what would be the predicted values. And the difference between those actual values and the predicted values or the regression line as part of the predicted values, we call residual scores or error terms. Linear regression models are represented mathematically with a linear equation with this formula here. So with this formula, y is the dependent variable, x1, x2, and so on are the independent variables, beta or b, uh, we use the Greek term beta, zero is the intercept, and beta one, beta two, all the way through uh, are the coefficients for each of the independent variables. And so again, the coefficients are the predicted values whereas the x1, x2, x3 of the independent variables are the actual values. The cool thing about this formula is that once your software has estimated the coefficients, you can actually use it to make predictions about the dependent variable for a new or even hypothetical observations, right? And this is done by plugging in the values of the independent variable into the formula and solving for y. Linear regression also allows us to estimate the relationship strength between the dependent and independent variables. So all statistical software provides a coefficient of determination, which is notated as R squared. R squared measures the proportion of the variance in the dependent variable that is explained by the independent variables. So a value of one indicates that all of the variance in the dependent variables explained by the independent variables, while a value of zero indicates that none of the variance is explained. Now that we understand the basics of linear regression, we need to understand the assumptions that we have to make about the data. And so there are really four basic assumptions of regression. Some statisticians will say more, some will say less. Uh, I tend to fall on these four basic assumptions. First, we have linearity which means that the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable is linear, right? So those independent variables and the dependent variable is, has a linear type of relationship. Second, we have independence, which means that the observations should be independent of each other and one observation should not influence another. So the independent variables should not influence each other in any type of way. Homoscedacity, which means that the residuals or the errors have constant variance across all values of the independent variables. And normality, which means the residuals of the model are normally distributed. To sum up, linear regression is a statistical method that analyzes the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. This relationship is represented by a straight line, which is estimated by calculating the intercept and the slope of the line. And we can then use these coefficients to make predictions about the dependent variable for new or hypothetical observations. So here's a little homework. Think about your GPA as an outcome. 
Now think about some independent variables that might predict the outcome of your GPA. This might be something as mundane as hours of sleep a night or as central as your socioeconomic status or class growing up. Thank you for watching Current Mode. I will catch you next time.